Hello, I'm Rod Sampson, a US agent for Brunton's Propellers. In this video series, we're going to start and service an autoprop H6 propeller. Uh, we're going to strip it down, rebuild it, and repack it with grease. So the first thing to do, once you've got all the tools and everything ready to go, is assess the condition of the propeller. Now this one here, we picked this up from uh, a company called Bacon Sales in Annapolis, Maryland. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's had an interesting life, we, we know what boat it came from. Uh, one of the blades is a bit grindy, so um, I thought it was a, as it was a, a very, very cheap propeller. You can feel this one is really just, uh, is not very well. So what we need to do is uh, start to peel back some of the ablative bottom paint that's been plastered with. Now I know from, from looking at it, you can see the grease ports here. Uh, this one in particular um, has not had any uh, grease because it's been painted over solid. So what the first thing we need to do is to free up all the grease ports. Uh, I, I tend to leave them in before I strip it down just so that no gunk and goo gets in there as, as, as much as possible. Um, these are M5 uh, metric. I need a, a three millimeter um, metric um, Allen key to get them out. And the other thing that uh, where all the paint has got is in these four little holes. Now this takes um, a little peg spanner that goes in here and we need a good fit for these um, because we're going to uh, you have to break these. Now this one here is obviously has a, has a lot of force so once we once you have to break it we either hold the blade down in the factory these are held in a vise uh, this way around it depends how you do it. I think for this one we'll just probably hold the blades down and it should just be a straightforward tap. Um, depends, you know, which size hammer you want to use to do it. But it's just having the right tool and the right application of, of, uh, of uh, strength. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to clean all these channels out um, and see if we can start to break some of these caps off. So once we break the cap off on this one here, underneath we should start seeing all the roller bearings and the real insides of the propeller. And from that we can see straight away how much grease is inside, what the colour of the grease is like, what the quality of the grease, if there is grease, and then you can start to see if, I mean, there is instances when, for the older propellers especially, that the races inside may have deteriorated so it might have to go back to the factory. So it's, it's always um, a, a little interesting when you first start to break them up and you're never quite sure um, how far you need to do. So let's go ahead now and I'm just going to go and break, um, break and try and get some of these caps off. So after shooting this video, I, I worked out that um, I didn't have a clue what I was doing taking the caps off. Um, I'm just going to go through some iterations of, of the um, things I tried to get the caps off. Um, you'll see I did get to a solution, a uh, larger hammer, I thought. Um, but it was, um, the, the problem is that the peg span is so small that you can't really get a good torque load on it. So I came up with, here we go, more torque. So I just used a piece of aluminium bar um, and... Uh, Put it in the uh, in the in the uh, spanner inside it and use that. And just was able to hold the um, the peg spanner in the side of the blades. It's a bit wobbly. Here we go. And uh, I was able to once I got it in the vise and hold everything still and just with a longer load. I'm just avoiding the lights there. Um, I was able to um, hold it, break it, and then we're gonna we're gonna carry on that with the next video.